Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at today is how to enable a Nanite inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, freedassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, when Unreal Engine 5 was released, one of the big things in it was Nanite, and Nanite allows you to basically potentially use billions of polygons inside of Unreal Engine without it affecting performance. So, what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to show you how to uh, import it with Nanite and then enable it in uh, on meshes that are already inside of Unreal Engine. So what we'll do first um, to see uh, to show uh, how this can obviously have a, a performance hit and whatnot uh, is if we click on these th uh, three lines here and just do show FPS, we'll get our FPS counter over here. So what I want to do is I'm just going to enlarge this. You don't have to do this, but I'm just for ease sake is that we are going to I've got two meshes I've imported here um, if we hit control space bar that brings that up this is our content browser um, this one here has, doesn't have nanite uh, applied and this one here does so you can see here that it's got like um, half a million triangles and this one's got um, with nanite applied uh, 2000 triangles it says so what we're going to do here um, is we'll drag this into the scene and we're just basically I'm just going to keep duplicating these until we start getting you can see here the performance is gradually decreasing um, I'm just going to go obviously very over the top here um, as you can see there that is is taking a big hit now um, so I'm just going to keep going these were all directly meshes out of um, ZBrush so you know these are pretty pretty intense there. So as you can see here, I'm running on a 280 Ti. So you can see now it's starting to struggle. So we're getting you, you know, not particularly great there. 20 20 or 25 frames a second. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, pull in the Nanite version. So in theory, if I do that, there you go. Let's jump back up. So Control Space Bar, and I'm going to do exactly the same. Now the Nanite one, initially. Um, it, this I'm pretty sure has something like three million polys in, and they've it says it's only got two thousand with nanite applied. So um, it shows you what's going on here. So so I'm just going to keep going just to see where are we there. So you can see there that how much of an improvement that has. We've got, you can see here, the frames are um, staying stable. This is just our viewport. So what happens here is when we press play, is that you can see here that that is like taking a bit of a hit there. It's a, well, a substantial hit from 120 frames. So we're playing this as if it's a game. So you can see here we're getting at best 30 frames a second. But when we swoop round to here, which has got a far more geometry, far more instances, it's sticking at 100, a solid 120 frames here. So you can see there, obviously as soon as I show the other one, it starts dropping. But you can see here how effective Nanite is. You can also see that when we go to lit here, Nanite visualization overview. You can also see that um, it's although it's showing um, this. This actually isn't as a nanite. Um, it's showing here, but it's not showing effectively. When we go here, we can see what it, the clusters is being put into things like that. Um, so what we can do is just switch back to lit view. Is we want to turn this now into a into nanite. So what we're going to do is uh, first of all, we're just going to double click on our mesh here. And you've got a setting here that says enable. So you click that, apply changes. Now, depending on how complicated your geometry is, um, how big it is, etc., this may take a while. And what this is going to do is this is going to automatically process um, everything it needs to run Nano. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video here. Oh no, I don't need to, it's done. So then in theory, we'll hit save. Oh, it's saving there. And we'll hit save. And in theory, you can see here the frames have jumped right up. So when we hit play, we should have exactly what we had before. Yeah, near enough, 120 frames a second. Same over here. So as you can see there, the Nanite is now applied. So if the, I think if we go to our vis, uh, Nanite visualization, yeah, we're now getting, you see the colors are different. We're getting clusters and whatnot, same over here. Um, so that's properly set up. Um, obviously you can go into, uh, 
I'll switch back there. When we go into our our mesh here, we've got these different settings. Um, I won't go into all of these, but these can help affect, I believe, the geometry uh, amounts that's being, whatever it's doing under the hood, it's, it, this can affect all of that if you're not quite getting what you need uh, you know, um, from it. There is another way as well that when we import a, a mesh, so I've got some meshes that I've created here. Um, uh, what's that? Drag that in. Oh, what's going on there? So drag that in. I haven't quite got this yet. Come on, drag that in, and you've got a setting here for build nanite. Um, so you know you can take that, so that will automatically generate it on uh, stuff that's incoming. Um, so that obviously helps time. So yeah, hopefully this has helped. A um, little bit different because usually it's Unreal Engine for tutorials, but I thought well, I need to be beginning to start doing tutorials on this because. I need to get a good understanding of it and I believe other people want to know things as well. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe.